That is a lovely shot. That's six. Hi everyone and welcome back to My Cricket Gear where today we get a first look at the new GM 2021 bat range. So GM have decided to keep the Eclipse, Siren, Icon, Diamond and Noir ranges and added to that um, they have brought in the new Chroma range and a version 2 of the Zelos. So let's get cracking and look at these two new shapes. So the Zelos 2 comes across as more of a rehash of the Zelos shape as opposed to anything new. Um, so in terms of the actual shaping, it's the same sort of concaving. Middle position looks very similar to what we have seen in the previous version. The biggest difference is probably not really related to the main part of the blade itself. It's more to do with the handle. Um, based on the images that we've seen, the handle could be slightly thinner than what we're used to. Um, I don't know if this is uh, a new philosophy that GM uh, are pushing. Certainly they've released a new grip, um, the Pro Light, which is supposed to be their lightest ever, and they describe it as being sort of a soft, supple grip. So that's something that we're really interested to get in because um, obviously the previous grip that they launched for 2020 was the Hex Grip, which was incredibly grippy. Um, but it wasn't that heavy, it just weighed as much as a standard chevron at sort of 1.35 to 1.4 ounces. So we're interested to see whether they can push this number down further. Um, maybe 1.2, 1.1, maybe even 1 ounce. Certainly if you look at some of the um, Grey Nichols grips uh, in Australia, um, they've got grips that basically weigh an ounce. So if you're able to, to save yourself 0.4 of an ounce then that's potentially more wood you can put into the bat or uh, just making a lighter bat overall um, but doing something like that will potentially affect the balance of the bat so you may find that um, taking that weight off the top um, the bat may feel a bit heavier so it'd be interesting to see how they compensate um, for that uh, with this bat so yeah it's not one that particularly excites me um, I guess it's a, a Marmite um, sort of feeling about the stickers you either love the lime color or you hate them um, but I think in terms of the shape um, yeah concaving isn't really in vogue at the moment it is the full shape that people look for so I think um, you know that's probably more um, the reason why we think the chroma uh, which we'll show you in a moment it will probably sell um, in higher numbers um, but again if you look at it from the toe you can see that you know that decent amount of concaving in there um, and now if we have a look at a close-up of the actual grip um, you can see that pattern actually reminds me of what old-school bats used to look like um, you know bats that I'd use sort of 20 years ago had that kind of pattern sort of the pre chevron um, pattern there um, and yeah, having the bats side by side, looking at the images that I can't see a huge difference between them. These are obviously just stock images um, compared to the actual bats themselves. Um, there might be some slight differences there, but nothing visually sort of standing out. Um, so that's pretty much it for the Zelos 2. Okay, so on to the bat that probably most people um, are more interested in. Uh, that's the new Chroma. Um, you see it here with the uh, very shiny stickers on there. Um, I'm not sure how the stickers are going to fare um, when playing cricket, whether or not they're going to be blinding um, fielders. Hopefully uh, GM have done something with the stickers so that they're, they're not too glary um, for the fielding side. 
Um, but yeah, really excited about this bat. Um, obviously, you can see in this photo that it um, it also sports the new Pro Light grip, but that isn't what's interesting about it. Um, it's the fact that um, it is a full profile bat, which is very in vogue at the moment. Um, and the shape itself, when looking at it, um, kind of reminds me of you know most of the GM players editions. Um, it is that sort of duck bill toe um, and big swell in the hitting area. Um, something that um, I guess looks aesthetically pleasing. Hopefully will give the batsmen a lot of confidence when they're looking down at the bat um, and they see all that meat in the hitting area. Um, so yeah, it kind of, in a way, reminds me of the aura shape that GM did um, from a few years ago. Um, but the difference between the aura uh, and this chroma is that the aura was very much a flat bat when you looked at the face. Whereas with the chroma, um, they've introduced a bit of a bow to it. Um, and I think that's important to note because I don't think the aura sold that well. Um, and the reason is, is the bat didn't look very big and I would say this is probably the biggest challenge for GM when they're trying to do these shapes. The reason why the player bats normally end up being um, bigger um, is because they're lighter pieces of wood and what you do when you don't have lighter pieces of wood. Um, so I think that's where the bow kind of comes in. It helps to accentuate the swell and actually give the appearance that the bat is bigger than it actually is so I don't know if that's what they're doing here you'll see it more when we unbox and review the bat um, at the end of the week um, but yeah that's our feeling when looking at the bat is how they've managed to achieve it now of course you might get some lighter pieces of wood where they can kind of do that but because of the CNC process the sizing of the bat should be pretty standard so one of my worries when I first saw the bat shape was that um, either the bats are going to be smaller uh, in order to get that particular weight or the bats are just going to be very heavy and that's normally the compromise there and obviously in conjunction with the pro light and maybe a tweaking of the handle um, if they've lost some weight at the top end I think that's why they've counted it by if you look at the toe end of the bat it does look pretty thin down there um, but yeah that's kind of what I expect for a player shape as well is that it's got the meat is in the hitting area so um, obviously we reserve judgment until uh, we've done our review on on the one we get in um, but um, certainly I think if you're somebody that's after a player shape but you don't really want to pay players edition price this could be the one to go for um, as I said it looks really nice it is really pleasing on the eye um, we'll just have to see how it goes um, when we get it in. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for, in terms of bats. There will be other products um, to talk about, so we'll probably do other videos about those. But we thought this would just be a good short video um, for the just launched uh, 2021 bat range from GM. Um, yeah, look out for an unboxing on Friday um, and hopefully try and do a really quick recorded review that we can put up by the end of the weekend so you can um yeah get sort of full details on the bat anyway thanks for watching this and look out for more videos soon